Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at AngularLink. Today's video is part two of our lesson on word order. In part one, we looked at sentence structure and learned about the sequence who, what, where, when, how, and why. In this video, we're going to look at the position of adverbs, such as usually, sometimes, slowly, etc and words like also, both, all, and so on. If you haven't watched part one yet, I recommend that you watch that part first for a really good understanding of basic sentence structure and then return to this video. By the end of this video, having also watched part one, you will have a clear idea of how to construct really good sentences in English and this will greatly improve your confidence and your fluency in writing and speaking English. So when you're ready, we can begin. Word Order Part 2 Today we are going to look at the position of adverbs. Let's start with frequency adverbs. The most common position for adverbs of frequency is before the main verb in the what part. Just a brief reminder of the basic sentence structure who, what, where, when, how, and why. So, the adverb of frequency goes in the what part before the main verb. For example, I always watch the news. Now, if there is an auxiliary, like do, does, don't or doesn't, or a modal verb, like can, must, etc., the adverb of frequency comes between the auxiliary or the modal and the main verb. For example, I don't always watch the news. Or, I can't always watch the news. Let's look at other sentences with adverbs of frequency. They will never do that again. He hardly ever goes out. She can rarely have a rest. It seldom rains here. She occasionally writes to me. He sometimes has to work late. She doesn't usually work on Fridays. I have often seen him. It always happens in winter. Right, let's have a look at other adverbs that come before the main verb. Already. I have already had lunch. Recently. They have recently bought a new car. Just. She has just come back. Finally, we finally managed to contact him. Soon. We will soon have a break. Still. He is still watching television. Almost. I almost forgot. All. They have all finished. Currently. They're currently negotiating a deal. Also. I would also like to visit the church. Probably. We will probably get a letter next week. 
both. We both arrived late. Even. I can't even move my fingers. Hardly. I could hardly hear him. Now, there is one exception, and that's the verb to be as the main verb. When it comes to the verb to be, whether it's an auxiliary or the main verb, adverbs always come after it. For example, for frequency adverbs, she is always here. The bus is rarely on time. There often tired. And with other adverbs, we were all happy. August was even hotter than July. I am already late. Right then, to summarize, always put the adverbs before the main verb except when your main verb is the verb to be. Now, let's look at a situation where you might see the adverb at the beginning of a sentence. It doesn't happen with all adverbs, but some adverbs can come to the beginning of a sentence. And as always, this is to put more emphasis on this adverb. Therefore, the punctuation and the voice will have to change too. For example, we had a sentence which was, he sometimes has to work late. If you want to stress sometimes, put it at the beginning and in writing separate it with a comma and say, sometimes he has to work late. Let's look at some other examples and put the adverb at the beginning. One of our sentences was, she doesn't usually work on Fridays. Bring the adverb to the beginning and stress it. Usually, she doesn't work on Fridays. Next example, putting finally at the beginning. Finally, we managed to contact him. Here we have soon at the beginning of the sentence. Soon we'll have a break. And one final example with currently. The original sentence was they're currently negotiating a deal and we can stress currently by putting it at the beginning. Currently they're negotiating a deal. Now one word of warning, and that is, if you have a negative adverb and you put that at the beginning of a sentence, you will need to use an inversion. You will need to switch the places of your auxiliary and your subject, like you do in a question. As this complicates the sentence structure, it is best to avoid negative adverbs at the start of a sentence. But so you're aware of them, Let's have a look at some examples. Remember the sentence, they will never do it again. Now, if you put never to the start of the sentence, you will have to invert. You will have to switch the places of the subject and the auxiliary. Never will they do it again. Let's look at another example we had before. It was she can rarely have a rest. If you want to emphasize rarely and put it at the start of the sentence, you need to invert. Rarely can she have a rest. And a slightly more complicated example would be, it seldom rains here. Now, if you put seldom to the beginning of the sentence, 
you will need to bring in the auxiliary for the inversion. As this is the present simple tense, your auxiliary is does. Seldom does it rain here. So to summarize, you can put adverbs at the start of a sentence to emphasize your point, but be careful when you do that with negative adverbs. Now, let's move on to the adverbs of manner. These are adverbs that answer the question, how? As you will remember from part one, how comes between the elements when and why in the sentence structure. Now, if the how is an ly adverb, such as quickly, slowly, gently, carefully, etc., you can put it before the main verb, as we have seen with the other adverbs. If you do this, you are stressing this element, you are emphasizing this element, and should also reflect it in your voice. Let's look at some examples. He opened the door quietly. So you have the who, what, and how. Now, because the how is an ly adverb, you can put it before the main verb, like any other adverb, and stress it with your voice. He quietly opened the door. Let's look at another example. We could see it in the distance clearly. So you have the who, what, where in the distance, and the how, clearly. As it's an ly adverb, you can move it before the main verb and stress it with your voice. We could clearly see it in the distance. Let's have a final example. She was singing happily. Who, what, and how. Once again, the ly adverb, happily, can come before the main verb. She was happily singing. Well, that's all for this part two of our video on word order. I hope you have enjoyed it. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, for further examples and online exercises. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye now.